Okay, this is the video for chapter 5.3, and there is a lot of repeating of the same models in this book, AutoCAD 2018 tutorial, second level 3D modeling. Um, I'm just picking out the ones that are different, and this happens to be, again, 5.3. What I did, I started off with a line at the bottom here, which is 6, and this is 2.75 in height, and it goes over 2.5, and, and it goes up 1, and you connect it here. Okay? Come over. The depth of this is 3.5. Is so I drew, I drew a line 3.5. And this is two and a half, and I just temporarily box this in. This is going to extend out later once we know the angle of this surface. But for right now, I just stopped it here at this line. Okay? And the depth going down here is a half inch, so I drew a half inch line down. And... I duplicated by copying this line and this line over to this side. Okay. Now, by doing that, I can come over here and draw a line 1.75 over and go up or either copy this line over and box in this rectangle here. Okay. Once I have that, I can come back and draw from this corner back a line four inches. That's where that surface turns. And I can connect it to this point. Draw a line straight up to this surface and connect it to that one. And then you can, at this point, trim this off or just leave it and move on. Okay. To get the cut at the very top like this, what all I did was just copy, and it doesn't have to be the whole line. You can just draw a piece of a line like I did as long as it clears this area where we can trim it. So all I did was just draw, just copy this line over. Remember, this this is one inch. so. You can draw a line over one inch, and then and then copy this line over, come to, and and you'll have this line here. Where they intersect is where that cut is going to stop. And you can do the same thing over here. Don't want to try to com confuse you, but draw a line over one inch, and then you'll have it. You may have two lines on top of each other you can always go back and delete that one inch line but you can draw a line one inch on top of this line then take this line and copy it over and where they intersect what you want to do is just come over here and take your trim command like this and come in here and trim off what you don't need like that you can come here and trim off that trim this off until you get this surface like that and I kind of left it green where you can see what I did the last thing you want to do is trim this straight off here where you'll have that slope and again to get your ellipse you're going to use axis in ISO circle and then locate the center lines first drop that drop that in which that is one inch diameter and put your center lines in get everything dimensioned properly um, these dimensions were left as you can see straight um, you can I kinda like it like this I know this is not the correct way um, but just remember, you can dim edit, or you can use dim T edit, enter, select the dimension, 
and just use the angle and rotate that. Let me try that one more time. Dim T, edit, enter, select dimension, right click, and you should get, I'm not getting it now, but you should get an, an angle, and then you're just going to pick this point and this point and it'll rotate that text for you um, again I like it like this because for me it's easier to read but if you look at the book they want it rotated the same direction as the surface that you're dimensioning but anyway that's the lesson for 5.3